Command Focus is a feature in Pro Tools that allows you to use one key shortcuts. What up, yo? This your boy, Wavy Wayne. If you know me, you know I'm all about efficiency in the studio. I want to be fast as possible to help get those ideas out. There's nothing worse than a slow engineer stagnating the creative process. Mm -hmm. One way that we can just be a little bit more faster is by using shortcuts. And then we can take that even further and use one key shortcuts. Pro Tools has a mode called Command Focus, which allows you to use one key shortcuts for different editing tasks and other tasks you might need in Pro Tools. My favorite way to use it is right here in the edit window. So if we take a look at my screen, right at the top right corner of my edit window, you see this little AZ button. When it's lit yellow, that means that command focus is active. Let's take a look around our Pro Tools window though. If I show my clips list, you'll see that over here on the clips list in the right corner, there is also a little AZ button there. That will make your command focus active for the clips list. Any one key shortcuts that you use will activate over in the clips list. On the left hand side, the left column of our uh, edit window here, you see on our groups list, there's also an AZ button, a command focus button that will enable your one key shortcuts for your groups list. And then you can uh, use a, a letter on the keyboard to activate and deactivate groups by their group ID. But again, my favorite place to use command focus is right here in the edit window. So I like to enable my command focus here and make sure that it is a uh, uh, active in my edit window. So now let's take a look at some of my favorite one key shortcuts to use. One of them is going to be A and S. A will allow you to basically trim from the beginning of the clip up into your insertion point. So if I have a little point that I need to cut off, I can just click with my insertion point. And then if I hit A, that will allow me to trim from the beginning of the clip up into the insertion point. On the opposite side there, if I need to trim from the end of my clip up to my insertion point, I can just simply use the letter S. So I drop my insertion point wherever I need to chop the clip, hit the letter S, and it will trim everything off from the end of the clip to the insertion point. Another dope feature of this command focus is just using the letter Z to undo stuff. So I'm gonna undo those last edits just by hitting the letter Z a couple of times. One, uh, one thing that I use all the time is zoom and I always zoom with command focus. I use R to zoom out and T to zoom in. It's just that easy. One key shortcut, zooming in and out, R to zoom out, T to zoom in. That way I never have to access that zoomer tool. I can be a whole lot faster without it. Also, you have your basic editing commands uh, down on the bottom row of your keyboard uh, with starting at over a shift and moving over right to that Z. We already know that Z is for undo, but I can also use the rest of these basic commands like X to cut, V to paste. We also have C to copy. And I can use uh, B to separate a clip. That's really one of my favorite ones. The separate clip command works well. Well, I can just drop my insertion point, hit the letter B, that'll separate that clip right there. Or I can even make a selection and hit the letter B and that'll separate my selection into a new clip. There's a bunch of other one key shortcuts that you can use. You can find your own. I'll uh, leave a link in this uh, description of a PDF that you can find to help you with Pro Tools shortcuts, all right? My name is Wavy Wayne. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, y'all be dope, all right?